So it may actually be time to buy into T-Mobile stock after their latest Q3 results came in today. So they actually had very strong quarter three results here. Revenue grew 5% year over year. And we also have the quarterly earnings of $2.61 per share, which beat the analyst consensus estimate of $2.41. So that's why they've had a big jump in their price today. As you can see, they are up about 5.71% today alone, which is a huge jump. They also mentioned a few other statistics here that postpaid service revenues of 13.3 billion grew 8% year over year, adjusted free cash flow grew 29% year over year and is a record high for the company. Some other nice things to look at here, they have a 27.67 price to earnings ratio, which is actually not too bad, and a 0.88% dividend yield if you're trying to collect dividends. They also mentioned that the customer growth outpaces Verizon and AT&T combined, and analysts are now raising forecasts because of this. They also have a 77% buy rating out of 30 experts on Robinhood right now. And just look at their earnings chart. Their earnings chart looks amazing right now over the last year. So I actually bought into T-Mobile earlier in the year on September 28th. And with this portfolio, I am actually up 13.24% already in just a little bit less than a month with T-Mobile. For this portfolio specifically, which is focused on growth, we're up 32.74% year to date. While the S&P 500, which is kind of the gold standard, for stock investing is up 22.5% year to date. So some of these moves that we've been making have been paying off. T-Mobile is one of them. We invested before this big jump and it turns out our research was right to invest in them. So far, of course, because this is a long-term holding portfolio. I also mentioned the price to earnings ratio earlier being around 27, which is right about where the S&P 500 is right now. If you look up VOO, which mirrors the S&P 500 with the Vanguard 500. Many people will say, oh, well, you need to be under 20 for the price to earnings ratio to be good enough to invest. But I believe that you don't always have to go on that. I believe it's more flexible than that, depending on the company. There's a lot of factors that go into buying a stock other than just the price to earnings ratio. And if it's on par or less than the S&P 500 price to earnings ratio, I would say that's a pretty good sign, but that's not the end all be all. We've also had some other very encouraging news about T-Mobile, not only from financials and the latest news on their earnings today, but also they have a partnership with SpaceX for satellites to basically bring cell service directly to T-Mobile in the future. They also have introduced a new form of internet that's wireless that is supposed to be a lot better than something like a hotspot, but is supposed to rival what you would get with something like cable or more traditional methods of getting internet. Another thing I'd like to look at is how do employees rate working at the company? They actually have very good ratings with 23,000 plus reviews they have a 3.7 out of 5 star rating for their employees, and they also have 65% of their employees rating working here to a friend, and 59% of employees approving of their CEO. T-Mobile is up again 5.71% today, and year to date up 44.25%, which is beating the S&P 500 average. If you look at the past full year, 65.56%. And over the past five years, you don't even hardly see a dip in their price. Maybe a few small corrections here, but for the most part, a pretty steady rise over the last five years. This is why I'm interested in buying even more T-Mobile stock, and I've already put my money where my mouth is. This is not financial advice, of course. This is just my analysis for my own strategy, buying for long-term growth in the stock market.